Hi. So what is a soul contract? First, let's define each word. Soul is believed to be a substantial entity that thinks, lives, feels, has will, awareness, and knowledge. Contract is a mutual agreement between two or more people to do or not do something. An agreement is simply a decision that would please someone. So that being said, soul contract are soul contracts are decisions we make that would please you or somebody else before you are born on earth. And how does that happen? Before coming on earth, you have had lives. You might have heard about people that have past lives. And with that, you know, you might have been a Pleiadian, a Lyran, a Procyon, Trucyon, and there are so many beings that we have been. You might have been a person, you know, here reincarnating once again, or, you know, as a consciousness, as a soul, like, hey, you lived before 3D, and you've had many lives. In those lives, you too have a story. And in that story, you will experience a lot of things, good and bad. And a lot of times, things that will traumatize you cause you pain and unconsciousness will end up with you making a decision that will impact your life and existence afterwards. With that being said, it is a simple us. You are being a kid and oh, well, kids, kids are playing and let's see, we have a rock and there's a bird and you throw a rock at the bird, you hit the bird, the bird is hurt or the bird is dead. And oh my God, uh, I thought we were playing, but the bird died and I actually love the bird, but now I killed someone. And from that moment, there's the pain, understanding of the situation and a decision, a very strong decision to, I will no longer hurt anybody else. It is great because you are no longer trying to go into violence or hurting someone. But at the same time, in a way, it can put you in a situation where you don't want to hurt anybody. So you will no longer stand up for yourself and fight or argue with someone, or go into situations where maybe standing up for yourself and protecting and doing things that would keep you like into the fight and maybe dealing some damage, whether it's emotional, psychological, or physical, but at least you help yourself and others, and you will back off. So these agreements, the decisions we make, and it's basically decisions, very strong decisions, and all of these happen before we come on earth. Now, how do we have so many and how do we know what happened? Like there's gonna be a lot of videos about it, but before coming on earth, since this is a game, think of installing an application or a video game on your phone or on your computer or your console. There are terms of services, all of these agreements and things we have to look at and agree. A lot of us just wants to join the game. We want to play it. And we don't really care about what we are agreeing. I doubt that many of you, while installing the application or something, would actually go and read through all of those terms of services and see what you're actually agreeing to. We just want to play the game. So with that, there are certain groups that you know want to affect people here on Earth and make you more like a corporation, make you more like a that person that doesn't really exist or like a product and you you're simply seen as meat like people eat chicken and you're kind of seen as chicken they don't hate you they don't love you they just eat you so any way they can harvest you get the luge and the energy and maybe trap a godlike being like you various things that can happen but with that while you join the game you don't really see a lot of things that you agree and it's basically a trap they're setting you up and a lot of these agreements will impact your life before you even come here. Some of you might get a birth bump and other things, this will be like later videos, but whatever you have decided in past life, like recently I have worked with some people who before came on earth were healers, they were helping others and ways they would heal someone is, hey, I'm gonna be the mirror, I'm gonna see your pain and how you're hurting and I'm going to mirror it and feel it myself. And I'm going to heal it through myself. And you're going to get better. Lots of techniques. But some people will do that and bring that aspect. Like it was their decision to help others. Hey, I'm going to help others. I'm a healer. And this is how I heal people. And they carry it on here on earth. And end up mirroring and sort of like whatever disease or a thing a person has. Whether it is the ache in the back or a headache or like some other thing they have boom they manifested here in the physical body maybe you've had a lover 
and that lover cheated onto you and it hurt you, it broke your heart. And you decided I will never trust them again. And in this life, no matter how hard you try to connect to someone, there's going to be agreements of not trusting people, the betrayal. I'm never going to be cheated on again. I will never feel that pain again. You've experienced that. You said it to yourself. You've decided for that life, but you can carry it here on earth. And with that, you will have a lot of these soul contract agreements, agreements that you have made before coming here on earth that will impact your life, that will limit you one way or the other. So whatever you have experienced beforehand, before living on earth, whatever agreements you made as, let's say, having to sign a little contract, yeah, I'm going to be a human being. And other times we have to, you know, well, we don't, we don't have to, we're forcefully incarnated here. Someone pushes us here against their own free will and someone pushes us against our, our own free will. I'm sorry about that. And basically, you know, soul traps and being attacked by entities and getting into some war and getting into some trap like a lot of things can happen like you might have been playing in a fifth like four dimension fifth dimension in other places and you get attacked maybe the enemies have certain technology maybe it's your friend gonna tease you and prank you and lo let's see this uh like our friend getting out of earth and they get you here on earth you've had some agreements before coming here and now you're stuck and you hate this place, you can't relate to anyone, your life sucks, but you know, you never wanted to come here. It was never your goal, which is why a lot of people don't really have a passion or goal or a thing to do on earth. It was never their thing. You were just forcefully incarnated. So with all of these variations, so kind of agreements are agreements we make before being born on earth. So that's it.